G'day again from the Lighthouse Lab. Today we're going to venture outside the lab and head somewhere really special. It's about 1,000 kilometers northwest of here. Have a look at everything I'm packing for the trip. Can you take a guess at where we're going? That's right. Today we're going to the Great Barrier Reef. Grab a pen and paper and take notes as you watch the video. You can download the Great Barrier Reef worksheet from the link below and I'll take you through a quick quiz at the end. Are you ready? Let's go! This could be the best field trip, sorry, virtual field trip ever. Where are we off to? I'll give you a clue. Go on. Slap on some sunscreen. Of course. Grab a hat. Done. And put on your life jacket. Wait, what? Because we're going to the Great Barrier Reef. That sounds awesome. Let's go. A bit of background info first. The Great Barrier Reef is a coral reef system located off the coast of Queensland, Australia. We say coral reef system because it's composed of about 3,000 individual coral reefs that stretch over 2,300 kilometres. It's the largest single structure made by living organisms in the world. It's so big that it can be seen from space. Righto, let's jump in. The reef itself has been built by billions of tiny organisms called coral polyps. That's why it's called a coral reef. There's hard corals and soft corals. The reef provides shelter for thousands of different animals. There's over 1,600 different kinds of fish. There's angelfish, surgeonfish, parrotfish, and butterflyfish. There's over 130 kinds of sharks and rays. Cool! There's some anemone fish. Looks like we found Nemo. When you think of the ocean, reptiles probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind. But on the barrier reef, you'll find six of the world's seven sea turtles. There's also 14 different kinds of sea snakes. What about the marine mammals? Of course, there's whales, dolphins, and the world's largest population of seagrass grazing dugons. And as for invertebrates, don't get me started, we're talking 3,000 mollusks, over 600 echinoderms, you know, starfish and sea cucumbers. There's crustaceans like shrimps, crabs, lobsters, and crays. And we can't forget mollusks, over 3,000 different kinds. You know, clams, squid, octopi, and colorful nudibranchs like this Spanish dancer. 
That was truly amazing. If you find yourself with some spare time in sunny Queensland, make sure you take a non-virtual trip to the Great Barrier Reef. Hey mate. Yeah? Why did the blue ring cross the Great Barrier Reef? I don't know, why? To get to the other tide. Nice one. How fun was that? All right, it's time to find out who was paying attention. Get ready for the Great Barrier Reef quiz. Question number one. Where is the Great Barrier Reef? A. United States B. Australia C. Thailand D. Fiji If you answered Australia, you're spot on! Number 2 how many individual coral reefs make up the Great Barrier Reef? A. 300 B. 30 C. 3000 D. 1 That's right! The Great Barrier Reef is made up of over 3000 individual coral reefs. Amazing! 3. What organism is responsible for building the reefs? A. Coral polyps B. Fish C. Seaweed D. Turtles Yep! Coral reefs are built by billions of coral polyps. Four, what are the two main groups of corals? A, wet and dry, B, round and pointy, C, big and small, D, hard and soft. Corals can be hard or soft. Five, how many species of sharks and rays can be found on the reef? A. 5 B. 130 C. 1300 D. 1600 That's right! There's 130 sharks and rays on the coral reef. 6. How many species of sea turtles inhabit the Great Barrier Reef? A. 4 B. 5 C. 6 D. 7 Of the seven species of sea turtles that live on Earth, six of them can be found in the Great Barrier Reef. How cool is that? 7. What is the main diet of the dugongs on the Great Barrier Reef? A. Seagrass B. Seaweed C. Crustaceans D. Fish Yep, seagrass is pretty much all they eat. Dugongs are known as the cows of the sea. 8. How many species of echinoderms inhabit the Great Barrier Reef? A. 6 B. 60 C. 600 D. 6000 You got it! 600 echinoderms. 9. Which animal is not a crustacean? A. Crab B. Shrimp C. Starfish D. Lobster A 
A starfish is an echinoderm, not a crustacean. 10. What is a Spanish dancer? A. A Spanish fish. B. A type of nudibranch. C. A type of marine mammal. D. A dancing sea snake. My favourite nudibranch of all, the Spanish dancer. I really hope you enjoyed this virtual field trip to the Great Barrier Reef. I'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Bye for now. Thank you.